Hi everyone, this is Ants. Just a quick video about uh, a pull request that's been recently merged just three days ago with regards to adding stencil support to spatial materials, which are 3D materials. So um, this PR basically has been on ongoing for two years now. It's been uh, reviewed, it's been merged, and it, uh, the, the big boys, Clay John, Kalino, and all these other contributors. As you can see, the contributors down here, quite a few participants in this. But anyways, um, why is it important? Well, all the stuff I'm showing you now is you could do your own custom shaders to do this, but now it's gonna be built into Godot and just using the base uh, Material 3D, you don't even have to deal with shaders anymore. You automatically get all these types of things and you could do multiple uh, draw passes and you could chain the effects. So you could chain the effects. So that's the reason why it's called custom here. But anyways, so in terms of the use cases, I'm gonna go to the high level use cases. There's other uh, things you can do with this, but you have like an outline and part of this geometry is in here. So it actually hides that outline and it notices the collision outline of these two shapes and it does an outline. You could do an x-ray. So this is the thing like if you go um, behind a screen but you still wanna see the character, you could do some sort of effects, uh, silhouettes or make it trans uh, transparent and all that kind of stuff. Or you could do a custom where you could combine different things where you do an outline but you still kind of like detect uh, it being behind uh, other geometry. Again, I'm not giving it enough uh, credit in terms of the other use cases you can have, but here's another uh, X-ray. Um, this is made entirely with material settings in the inspector. You could get stuff like this now without touching any shaders, which is fantastic. But uh, in addition to that, okay, one more other example. So this uh, fire here is all done with the standard material 3D. Like there's no shader uh, you need to kind of attach and all that. It's all um, available to do now, right? Um, so in addition to all the stuff that they added to the Godot um, editor of the standard material 3D is they added um, new modes to shaders, to all, uh, all spatial shaders. You know how spatial shaders have a render mode? Well, now they're gonna have a stencil mode, right? And if you don't, use it that's fine everything remains the same but now you have access to a bunch of other things i'm not going to go into the detail on that because i may do another video when they actually release godot 4.5 dev 5 or beta 1 where i can actually show you in godot and play around with it and give you more examples um but they've added a bunch of stuff now that's available uh in the shader but they also added a bunch of stuff that's available uh, in uh, the inspector, in the base material uh, 3D, right? And they have some presets and all sorts of other stuff. Now, the great thing here is it supports all the renderers, including compatibility. So you could use it on your web builds or on your legacy hardware builds. Um, and initially they didn't think that they could do GLES3, which is a uh, compatibility renderer, but it's not a problem. However, there may be some problems with XR uh, for compatibility render. That's, I don't really care about that, that if there's any problems with XR, but it may affect you. Um, and then there are still some sorting uh, problems. So, um, you still have to use render per priority if uh, you chain um, um, your your effects, your materials, right? So the next pass, you could change your material. You still have to use render priority. This is not really that big of a uh, deal, but it is uh, a limitation. So yeah, uh, this is fantastic. It's been going on for two years and they finally merged it. And there's another example that they use the Unity test. Let's see if I could find, here it is. Again, this is just a simple uh, example, but people are really, really happy about this. Great work, we can do this now. So this is the before, this is the after, but as you can see here, um, I guess this is a Viking and uh, his horn um, 
on his left side is basically obscured by the sail geometry and now it's doing an x-ray uh, effect as you can see there's an x-ray effect but the problem the, the the value add here is you don't need any shader it's just built into Godot right now and stuff and they have some other examples but that's basically it folks uh, again let's see how many people are happy about this uh, scroll all the way down here Liz let's 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 add to all this but uh yeah i mean there's from what i see this is uh i wouldn't say this is like a game changer but this is really really nice to have um yeah especially for um people who don't want to deal with shaders or is just starting out with godot and that sort of thing again expect this in 4.5 and you probably could play around with it in the next dev or they may be switching over to beta releases so yeah, I hope uh, you guys found it useful. Adding stencil support to spatial materials, pull request has been merged into 4.5 milestone three days ago. Thanks and have a great day. Oh, and thank you, Apple. So this guy here is the one that actually uh, submitted the PR two years ago and uh, babysit it. So thank you. <laughs>